Dan and Dan, 810 AM Quad Cities at News Talk 1420 WOC. Good morning. The escape room trend. It is now here in the Quad Cities. It's actually been here, I guess I just found out. <laughs> it's been here since October, but uh, the grand opening, what, the official big grand opening just a couple of, uh, about four or five weeks ago, and uh, Scott Carpenter is the is the guy who runs it. It's called Bust Out. And Scott, first of all, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, I was glad to be here. Good to see you. Tell us a little bit about uh, the escape room trend. I know this is something that's been happening all over the nation for a while, but it's nice to finally have it here. Well, the escape rooms are uh, very new um, in respect to, you know, time frame. Um, it was like 2006, 2007 over in Japan were the first beginning stages of uh, live escape room games. So those finally started rolling um, from uh, Europe and uh, overseas to the United States in near 2012. Um, when I went and checked things out before I opened in July of last year um, on the uh, escape room directory that was listing um, escape rooms in the United States, we were at like 324. <laughs> um, I just recently went on and checked because I was questioned about that, and we were um, – most recently looked at like 449 wow. and since July of last year and now. So you can see they're growing like crazy all over the country. Okay. Well, they're growing because it's popular. Yeah. So, and- Well, I was going to say, now where, where are you located? And is it just as the name would infer that you're just a big room somewhere? Well, uh, it, there's, I've got several escape games. All right. Now, an escape game could be in, include more than one room. Okay. Um, you know, but I'm located at 2704 Central Avenue in Bettendorf. Oh, okay. And uh, you know, people looking to to come in over there, um, you know, there will be three different games that uh, that I have. Um, you know, one of the games is called the CSI Room Crime Scene, mm-hmm. um, and one of the games is called the Kidnappers Hideout, and one of the games is called Pirates Treasure. And each of those um, you know, are going to have different themes inside, you know, for decorations and things of that nature. Um, bottom line, the objective is to, you know, work as a team and of two to eight and work your way through these games, finding clues and riddles, puzzles, and unlocking locks to accomplish your mission. Now, I, you know, I, I don't want to say too much, but, you know, I'm figuring I could probably go through this in, what, 35, 40 seconds. So would I have to pay, like, full price and everything? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you've watched The Big Bang Theory. I know, I can tell from your comment. That's great. Uh, yes, they, we, many of us have probably seen that episode where they, you know, they go through and, and they hurry through because, you know, they're solving all the, the things. But, uh you know, it it, uh, it takes. I think the fastest escape we've had on any of our rooms uh, is uh, 26 minutes, and that was you mm. know people that had been through several different games. So you know the people that are coming through and the most frequently heard comment when they leave the room is, "Wow, that yeah. was harder than I thought it was going to be." Yeah, Who is this for? Who do you target? Do you target like business groups? You know, work groups? Is this a team building exercise? Is it just friends out on a Friday afternoon, Friday evening? Who's your biggest target here? Well, and that's one of the great things about this, uh, you know, type of uh, entertainment is, you know, it's great for team building. You know, in fact, I'm going to be putting packets and brochures together and be going out to several businesses here soon to talk to them about setting up some team building. Um, So, you know, we've already had several of those that have inquired. Um, It's great for kids. I mean, even, even as 10 years old and up. Um, we, you know, we'll join their parents and, and adults and, and go into these rooms. We've had kids with birthday parties from 13 to 14 year old kids, um, and they've won. Um, so they see things different than we do. Um, this area has got a lot of college students. Yeah. So I'm getting a lot of the college students. And I really thought when I opened that that was going to be my number one target. And as I'm finding out through seeing the groups that come through, I'm getting a lot more diversity, a lot more people, uh, birthday parties, um, bachelorette parties, bachelor parties, um, reveal parties would be things that people can do. I mean, there's a lot of different things we can do with this. Huh. This sounds like so much fun. I mean, how, like, how, how many people do you need in a group to do this? Can two people walk in? Can it, Eight and optimate top? It, right now I've got it set up at two to eight. Based on the sizes of the rooms that I have, you know, I set the, the, the line at two to eight people. Um, some of the rooms that you're not going to be able to get through by yourself, there's things that you have, you have to work together with another person to accomplish the task. I don't want to give away anything, but to accomplish the task – in some of the rooms, you have to have two people. 
minimum. So eight, two to eight people. Now, can you have more than one group going at a time? Do you have that like that with uh, different rooms? or What I've tried to do is with my scheduling is I've tried to stagger it so that I have one of my escape games will start at, say, 1 o'clock. Right. 30 minutes later, while that room is in, we get another group together and we place them in another room. Ah. And then at, at, at the time that one group is coming out, we're placing another group into the third room. Okay. Oh, now, that gives us... 30 minutes to reset the room and get it ready for the next group. And then in 30 minutes, we start back over again in that room one, and then we work right through the process all day long. Hmm, that's interesting. This sounds like this could be a lot of fun. Yeah. I just thought of something, Dan, while I'm just sitting here mulling things over in my head. So, Dan, I'm running the, uh, the 5K, St. Patrick's Day 5K. Dan doesn't think I can do it in less than 35 minutes. I think we should have some sort of competition how long would it take you to get out? Who can? What can happen faster? I run the five k, or you get out of the escape room. Hmm. I think we just. I think we just stumbled upon our bet here. Well, maybe that could uh, that could work. Because I'm not thinking you can't get out of one of these. If the fastest time is twenty six minutes, I'm guessing you're not going to do it in thirty five minutes. Well, I should be able to set my own. T- you set your own time for the race. You just randomly picked the time. Straight you Straight up even time challenge. <laughs> Now, can I have up to seven other people with me then? Hey, can it work? Can you like use your cell phones to look that's, up clues? And that's stuff? a good question, um, and that's one of the hardest things about the game. You know, as I say in uh, in, in previous um, articles, Doctor Google is not going to help you here. You know, another line that I use. You know, um, have you seen Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Mm-hmm. You're not going to have that lifeline. You cannot phone a friend. Um. So what I do is I take the cell phones and I put them in a I put them in a, a box and I take that and I set that box inside your room. That way people don't have to worry about separation anxiety because <laughs> you know we've all come so addicted to. You our could phones. never get this done, Dan. You'd never get done. I, it would actually give me an incentive to get out of the room more quickly. I could start using my phone again if we can no, solve these. You'd be these using clues. the phone in there. So do you? Is there are there cameras in the room? Do you sit there? Do you get to watch people in the rooms? Yes, uh, we do. Uh, we do have video cameras in there um, for safety's sake, so that you know yeah. I can watch or my workers can watch uh, what's going on in the room to make sure that there nobody's doing anything unsafe. Um, you know, one of the things we have to remind people is. There are no clues in those ceiling tiles, so there's no sense in trying to hoist somebody up there to right. find a secret passage to the world beyond. Right. It's just not there, and you know, for their safety, we don't want them trying those right. things. You say for safety's sake, but I say it's for Christmas party's sake. You're recording all of these things, and there's I, there's a video collection somewhere. Oh, right? that would be that that would be uh, uh, quite a. I could probably put together a real good <laughs> blooper reel with those. That's for sure. <laughs> all right. So if we want, to, if somebody wants to do this, if a group wants to do this, how do they get in touch with you? Uh, the best way is to go on to the website at uh, www.bustoutliveescapegame.com. Um, on there, they will be able to find where it shows the different rooms. Um, if they click on the tab that says booking, that'll take them to the three different rooms, and they click on which room they would like to go into. And at that point, it'll give them the available times, uh, which times are already previously booked. Uh, if they've got a group of two to four people, they may be joining another group of two to four people and go into a room, and we form teams Mm -hmm. up to eight people. So this is good. So a lot of people know that they're going to be joining other groups. Right. Uh, My daughter and I have done that every time we've gone to ours, and we love it. Uh, Met a lot of friends that way and had just had a really good time. So, you know, they book that online and then make their credit card payments right there through the booking company. Wow, very nice. Very easy. So let's say the website again. It's www.bustoutliveescapegame.com. Okay. Or you can check us out on Facebook under Bust Out Live Escape Games. Excellent. Well, right. Scott, good luck with it. It seems to be going well so far, and uh, so continued success. And we got to get over there and try this at some yeah. point. This sounds awesome. So. Yeah. Well, thanks for You'll coming in. You'll enjoy it. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you, Scott. It's 819. This is Dan and Dan here at AM Quad Cities.